going, isn't it? It's coming quite good. We're on the beach again. It's a grey old day, isn't it? Still quite mild for February. Nice little gentle southwesterly. I'm on a run of one blank and I don't want to. February's a really hard month actually for sea fishing, my record show. Um, and it is a case of scratching around. The fish aren't there in numbers, maybe dogfish. Not even the whiting is showing at the moment. Um, so anything would be a win really. It makes sense to go the flowing side of the tide. I need to go this side of the ground. That'll sit on those cascades quite well. Right, let's get it in. We are. I'm back with my old friend. Back with my old friend. 42 centimetre bass there. Just nick that out of the lugworm out. We have one. A bass. Look at that. Lovely fish. Oh, I've missed you. <laughs> Here we are. Great stuff. And a whiting. Not quite as welcome, but two on the hook there. That can go back as well. Going to uh, drop this a little bit shorter. Yeah, a bass. <laughs> I wonder if those fresh outs make a difference with the lug. Certainly have a better bait trail uh, than the ones that have been gutted. I must stop doing this, leaving stuff. <laughs> it's a really gloomy sort of day. Pleased to get that bass, and it just makes me a little bit more intense to be looking at those rod tips. It's pulling, it's pulling. Something's flapping. Something on. Well, <laughs> it wouldn't be a, a beach session for me without a dab, would it? That's amazing how I really felt that on there, flipping around. And that is testament to the braid as well. Uh, look how that's hooked. Lovely. 
Well, it wouldn't be the same, would it, without our friend the dab? Uh, it's quite a big hook, that. <laughs> for the dab. So what I'm going to do here, they'll heal all right. So I push back, back through the way that hook's gone in. And there we have it. We've looked at it many times on the channel. Rough to the touch, the brat, uh, rough to the touch. We have our dab. Well, that is quite small, 19 centimeters, is about 17, I think. Let's have a look. I am usually quite good at estimating, but that is well, that's over 19. Look at that. So, <laughs> this does show these dab are a small flatfish. Oh, we're going to have to put this one back. You see there, it's just under the 20, which is the size limit for the dab. Beautiful. Nice to see the, the dab. As I say, with those continental rods, you can pick out a dab at 100 yards. What I want to do now is catch a fish to keep. There is a bit of a problem with this venue. You're going to see it in a minute, it's coming past. Straight into the line. Straight into the line, you know. Touch this time. Well, we've got something in the drama with the dogs. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Long as it's not biting. Something very small on here, I think. Oh, no. It's a slug. No, not for me. That's definitely going back. So rebaiting here. I'm going to use one lug. Uh, that's been gutted. Just thread that up the middle. And then I'm going to use the fresh out, which has got all the guts in it, you see. And I wonder whether that is uh, the difference. I wonder if that makes a difference actually having this. Sun's come out. A little bit harder there, you see, on the tail. You can get that over the eye without bursting it too much. The problem is with those rockling, if the rockling are beating bass, flounder and dab to the bait, there can't be that many bass, flounder or dab, so usually a bad sign, but we'll go again, let's rebait. 
hope for something else. Oh, that was a good rattle. That was a good rattle. Have a little feel, but I won't bring it in. Quite good. Oh, that is a big dogfish. <laughs> that is a very, that is a very big dogfish. Certainly for around here, they come a lot smaller. Look at that. Just unhook him. He can be quite tough with these. You sometimes need pliers. But this is a dogfish. See how it curls up, doesn't it? A blue sky. Yeah, that is moving, isn't it? It's going, isn't it? We do our normal beach walk. A lot of anglers are doing this now, just at least pick up a little bit of litter. Uh, so many plastics around. Been just off the seafront here, might as well just chuck it in there. Uh, some of the things I'm not sure about touching, but always get a good idea. Mainly plastics today, a few shells washing up. There's always a lighter. Wound it in about 10 yards. See if that fish will come back. That's a bit frustrating, but that's fishing, isn't it? I'll bring it in, rebait, try again. Try and put it in the same spot. The bait puts out a little bit of. Uh, hopefully, those juices are attracting the fish into that feeding zone. You'll see.
So in case it is a bass, it's nice to feel what is going on here. Got one. Although I'm not sure it's a bass. Nothing. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> There is something. If there is something, it no small, nothing. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe a whiting. There's a bit of weight here. What is it? Ah, it's another whiting. I messed up a little bit there. I cast over the groin. So what I'm going to have to do when I retrieve it is obviously go that side. Just got to remember where it is or I'm going to be drawing that line right across that groin or I'll be drawing that line right across the groin there A little bit some more lug on well, I'm getting a good old pull on that rod I think what I'll do, if I, if I don't get something this time I'm going to make the base a bit smaller It's not a definite bite, something having a go though isn't it? Yeah, it's one for tea. Well, I think that was what was rattling that rod tip. A dab. And I have absolutely no complaints about catching that little fish. That is a keeper. Very small, but that'll be a keeper. Check out those two videos there where we go back into the summer and we see a lot more fish. Thanks for watching. So, a cooked dab and a little bit of butter. Nicest tasting fish in the sea. Yeah, lovely. It's a really sweet white fish that.